I'm Amora Speed from MyClubMyLife.com, and I'm here today at the 2014 National Keystone Conference, and I'm here with two of our breakout session speakers, Trina and John. How are you guys today? Great. Great. How are you? How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Um, in this country, abuse happens daily. What's an advice for young adults that are confronting abuse? What's a way for them to stop it? Like. So we talked about in our session um, the fact that, first of all, you need to communicate. And you need to make sure that you have a balanced circle of friends, right? So you have to have a mentor or somebody that you can confide in that you trust and, and you need to communicate as much as you possibly can. And even if it's, uh, I, I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. So when, when my daughter initially tells me that she's got a problem, as a dad, I usually just kind of like, okay, right, you're overreacting. But the reality of it is, is that once that she makes me understand that it's a real problem, then things change, right? And that's the important part. Yeah, we talked a lot about speaking up, not being afraid to find a trusted advisor, someone that you can talk to about the situation that you can trust to tell and speak up about it. Don't keep it in, you know, making sure that you uh, don't feel guilty about it or it's in your gut feeling that you feel like you're being abused, then you really, really want to speak up about it. You said about a trusted person, but many of teens and young adults, after being abused, they fear of trusting anybody. They, right. they neglect everybody, they leave them out of their sight. What's a way to get that trust back, to gain trust? So we talked a little bit about that. Now, I mean, that's the most difficult thing. You gotta have, we talked about having every morning, having a purpose for you. Right? And, and understanding that that purpose comes from within you or from what you believe. Right, So for me, it's easy because I know that God's watching over my shoulder and He's going to help me through what I need to. And every morning I set a purpose for my day. And my purpose for my day is about making sure that I understand something, I'm going to do, accomplish something positive. Once I start to feel good about myself, then I can start to trust other people and, and get them involved in what you're doing. So if you're helping somebody else, we're going to make an impact on them, and then on top of that, they're going to become one of your circle of friends. Trina and I are in that. I mean, we've been helping each other for, for years through our career, um, and that's kind of how we've built our relationship. Yeah, we talked a lot about removing yourself as the victim and stepping into victory, you know, a lot of times when you're abused, you feel like it's your fault, you know, but it's not your fault, you know, and being able to build your confidence level up to be able to speak about it, you know, if I, if that could be a teacher, that could be a parent, um, that could be if you need to call 911 if that's the situation, but removing yourself from victim state and putting yourself in a posi position to be able to speak up about it. Well, what you guys said are right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Once again, I'm Amora Speed from MyClubMyLife.com.